Hey everyone, this is Shipra and uh, today I'll be talking about Asus Zenfone Zoom which is uh, the latest addition to the Zenfone family of smartphones. The company has introduced Zenfone Zoom as its most premium offering in the market or I would say so far costliest Zenfone in India. With camera as its USP, let's find out if the phone is worth buy or not. So the box contains a beautiful device, a small carry string to attach with the smartphone, power adapter that supports a fast charging for sure, USB cable and a pair of in-ear style headphones as well as some extra ear tips for the headphones. It is a premium looking phone built using a sturdy set of quality material. Despite having the back cover made up of leather, it feels rigid and uh, somewhat plasticky. There is a micro USB charge port on bottom alongside a primary microphone and the hand strap post. The left side of the phone is uh, pretty much empty. A traditional 3.5mm headphone jack sits at the top. Volume rocker, power button, screen lock and still camera alongside. Video record button is placed on the right side. A rounded camera module with a 13 megapixel sensor and dual LED flash sits on the back. The removable back cover will uh, let you access the phone's SIM card slot and micro SD card slot for storage expansion. However, the battery cannot be removed. Overall, it features a premium design with metal frame alloy and leather back casing for maximum convenience. Starting with the display, it sports a 5.5 inch Full HD IPS capacitive touchscreen with 1080p resolution with 403 ppi pixel density. The screen comes protected with the Corning Gorilla Glass 3, which is reasonably bright for both indoor as well as outdoor conditions. Even though the display doesn't fit into a high-end category, it is conveniently bright and more than what customer uh, could expect with a decent combination of contrast and saturation. When it comes to analyzing the performance metrics, it is powered by a quad-core 2.3 GHz CPU Intel Atom Z3 580 chipset, 4 GB RAM and PowerVR G6430 GPU. Even though the hardware combination might not result in faster performance, but it's ideal for everyday usage that is web browsing, making calls, checking mails, etc. It also leaves no ground to disappointment, especially while gaming. The gaming performance was ok and no log or frame rate drop was observed. I played several graphic intensive games such as Asphalt 8, Modern Combat 5, etc. And I'm happy to report that the performance was enjoyable. However, a major heating issue remains to be tackled. Now moving ahead, let's talk about software. Zenfone Zoom runs Android 5.0 Lollipop based a Zen UI out of the box. Honestly, as I say in my every Zenfone review, it is one of the most heavyweight UIs I have ever seen running on the phones. It ultimately slows down the experience due to major software bugs and frequent built-in app crash. Even though the immediate update uh, fixed many issues, but still uh, the software feels a lot creepy to handle. As soon as I turned on the phone for the first time, it freaked me out upon finding a huge amount of useless junk pre-installed on it. Asus, we certainly do not appreciate your unnecessarily eating into the storage space, especially when your uh, UI itself cannot handle a thing properly. They say everything comes with certain pros and cons. So despite these cons, the phone has some nice customizable power saving features on board. Now talking about the phone's USB, which is its camera, uh, it sports a 13 megapixel pixel master rear camera with 3x optical zoom measuring 5mm around the edges. It has a built-in optical image stabilization that produces fairly sharper and steadier pictures. Despite it, I couldn't understand the motive behind just a 13 megapixel camera in contrast to 21 megapixel, especially when the camera is the only selling point of this phone for ASUS. However, the OIS works like a charm and produces good quality images in direct sunlight. Talking about comparatively darker conditions, the camera failed to disappoint me with its instant focusing abilities. However, the images turned out to be slightly grainy. 
In order to match the experience of DSLR photography, Asus packed in slower shutter speed for maximum exposure. Most of the time, I found shutter speed way too inconsistent and annoying, but it might be a firmware problem also. As I already said, Asus Zenfone Zoom is burdened by a sluggish Zen UI, which leaves no chance to make the camera experience even slower. The camera numerously crashed while zooming in or out many times. However, Asus has apparently fixed this problem in a software update as I found no issues uh, with zoom in or zoom out later on. As I'm talking about uh, its 3x optical zoom, the camera produces clearer images upon complete zoom in direct sunlight. But you cannot expect the similar output in darker conditions for obvious reasons. Now talking about the battery, Asus has done a great job in this particular department. Yes, the battery. Zenfone Zoom packs in a non-removable 3000 mAh battery, uh, which the company claims to offer 9 hours of talk time as well as 8.5 hours of video playback. However, the battery performance on this phone is fairly average and you will certainly need to keep the backup plan ready. Although the battery will easily last up to 12 hours upon fair usage, I could refill the juice within uh, 1 hour 30 minutes. However, the battery drains quickly, hence you might end up finding yourself in continuous fear of running out of battery most of the time. Now summarizing my analysis, uh, Zenfone Zoom is one of the great looking phones available in the market. It has a premium design, quality display and impressive 3x optical zoom. But despite having all these things, Asus Zenfone Zoom doesn't fulfill the promise of bridging the gap between a professional and smartphone photography experience. I would say it can neither feed up the hunger of professional photographers nor replace the DSLRs. It is undoubtedly overpriced at Rs 37,999. I would say uh, you would need a very strong reason to make a purchase of Asus Zenfone Zoom at this price point. Thanks for watching this video guys. I hope this was a helpful review for you. Stay tuned with us for upcoming reviews like that. Till then, have a great time.